Hello guys, welcome to Tech Design. Hope everyone is doing great. So in the previous tutorial, we have made this uh, whatever the feature we have here. So ellipse shape of a feature in the tire. So in this tutorial, I'm going to do this uh, feature whatever there in behind that uh, you know ellipse shape. So let's get started. So as you can see here, this is the you know whatever we have left in the last model. So now what I will do is I will just go to and uh, you know the sketcher environment. So go to sketch and select this plane now what i'll do is horizontal should be along this direction and then origin should be at that point okay and you just click okay so now we are into here so now what i'll do is uh, i'll just draw a uh, you know one uh, profile so before going to draw i'll just hide this and also i'll just hide this as well okay so now uh, i'll just take an arc here and this arc should start from this point okay and there is a one more arc okay and then there is a one more arc we are given, going to give a dimension so before going to diamond uh, give a dimension make sure that this is tangent okay so now let me go to rapid dimension so the dimension between this point to this point it is 54.2 okay and then the dimension between this two this x axis it is 220.9 okay and also this point should lie on this uh, x axis so you go to geometric constraint point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve okay and now okay so this is making a huge mistake here let me delete this and now what i'll do is i'll just make a radial dimension so this dimension is 253 multiply by 2 okay So let me delete this so i'll just provide it later so first of all let me give the dimension for this so this dimension is 336.1 okay so now we have an arc here so which is you know this arc so this radius is 253.8 okay and now the dimension is so for this dimension it is 220.9 okay so now we have an uh, one more fillet here so let me give a fillet of 23 okay so now we are left with three constraints so let us check what are those three constraints okay so whatever so now uh, let me give the dimension for this so between this to this y axis it should be minus 7.9 so minus 7.9 why i'm giving a minus because it should cross this uh, you know whatever the line we have so that is the reason i have given minus so now what else is left So now the dimension between this point to z axis let's give from this point to this axis it is 61.3 okay so now what are the things left so also what i will do is i will just make a tangency here so let's go to a line and i'll draw a line here okay so this line go to coincide so this point should lie coincide with this and also these two should be tangent okay let me make this const construction line okay okay so now everything is done so you can just click finish 
so once you click finish uh, i just wanted to make you know uh, revolve of this so let's go to revolve and select these curves okay and the vector is along this direction and it should be sheet and you can just click ok so this is the sheet we need okay guys so now let me show the bodies so this is one and this geometric pattern geometry okay so now what i'll do is so i'll just go to sketcher again on this plane now and i'll just click ok so let me keep it as an on plane okay this plane and click ok so now what i'll do is i'll just draw a lines here so it should start from here and here okay and you go to geometric constraints so it should be vertically aligned so these two lines should be vertically aligned okay and then the dimension is so this dimension is 261.8 okay and then there is an angle angular dimension so this angle should be 87.2 okay and this point should lie on this x axis so you go to geometric constraint so point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve and then there is a dimension here so between this point to this point it is 69.8 okay so i think that's all we have here okay so let me make these two points so there is an you know the angle whatever the angle we have here it should be divided by 2 otherwise we can make you know uh, make symmetric so this line and this line should be symmetric to this okay and then we have to give some uh, fillet here so go to f and just give a fillet of 20 mm okay so that's all we have so we can just finish the so before going to finish the sketch i will i would like to make a pattern here so go to pattern and it should be circular pattern so i'm going to select these curves and specify a point so this point i'm going to specify okay now it is uh, count and pitch so count should be 5 and uh, pitch should be 72 and you can just click ok now whatever the you know open end we have here so i'm just going to close it so go to line and close these two same way i'm going to do it on the all the sides So now what I'll do is I'll just uh, my sketch is fully constrained now. So let me finish the sketch. So I'll just finish the sketch. So now uh, I'm going to you know uh, make a project curve of this or this face. So let us go to curve and project curve and select this sketch. And the object should be this. Okay, and the direction will be along this, and it should be reversed and you can just click ok so now as you can see here we have got this so it should be you know uh, the whatever that the sketch we have projected we have we should be done in both uh, you know uh, direction as you can see here this is only projected on the other side so go to projected curve and projected should be in both curves as you can see now it is like this so now we can hide this and now i want to trim the you know body so go to surface and trim sheet and i'm going to trim this and it should be discarded and my sketch will be this and you can just click ok okay in the same way i'm going to do it on the other side as well because since it is not connected so we cannot able to trim in the single point so let me make it again okay 
so now we got this so now what i will do is i will just you know pattern this so let me go to pattern geometry so where is the pattern insert associative copy in pattern geometry so i'm going to pattern this and it should be linear pattern and it should be in the opposite of this so let's give opposite direction and the count and pitch should be count 2 and pitch should be 10 mm and you can just click ok so now what I will do is I will just extrude this so go to extrude and select a single curve and these are the curves that I am going to extrude so the vector should be along this direction so make sure it should be 1 and boolean should be none so now what I will do is I will just select this all the curves I think we can also select using a uh, connected curves, but uh, let's try. Okay, so now so we have selected complete uh, surface. So I'll just give an opposite direction, and the value will be 10 mm. And you can just give it as a uh, sheet, and you can just click OK. So now, as you can see here, the body is developed. So now we need to so, you know see this. So go to see and select this body, this body, and then bottom body. Okay, click OK. So now as soon as you click OK, so this body is, has become what now? It has become a solid. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to and chamfer. So I'll go to chamfer and keep it as a 5 mm and I'll chamfer over here. So all these bodies. So can just click OK. So now you can see here this is chamfered on this side. Okay. So let me hide this project curve. So this is not required for us anymore. Okay. So now whatever the body we have here, it should be trimmed off. So we, we don't want that. So let us go to trim body, and that body target should be this. And my tool will be this. Okay, so now it shows in which direction you want a body. So I'll just make it is reverse direction. And so instead of this body faces, I'll just uh, reselect and I'll just uh, select single face. So this face. So now reverse this body, and now we can see here it is perfect. You can just click OK. Okay. So now what we can do is we'll just go to sketch our environment again. So here is a sketch on this plane. Click OK. So now what I'll do is I'll just make a simple holes. Okay. So go to circle which is of uh, diameter 3 mm. Okay. 3 mm. And this circle should lie on this x axis. So go to point on a curve. So this point should be on this curve. Okay, and the distance between this to this should be 45. Okay, now I will draw a single line here. So starting from this, and the, the angle should be 45. Sorry, guys. So the angular dimension with the x-axis it should be 45 okay so now I'll just make this as a construction line because we just need this line to pattern so now what I'll do is I'll just go to pattern and it should be a linear pattern 
and this curve I am just going to pattern and now along this x axis I am going to pattern and the pitch should be 8 and number of count should be 4 ok now click apply so again I am going to make this circle along this direction and now the pitch will be 5.5 ok now click apply in the same way I am going to do this ok linear uh, direction will be along this direction and now in this case it is should be 5m and just click ok and the same way I am going to do this for this and now the numbers will be 6 and click apply and also this curve I am going to do along this direction and now the numbers will be 2 click ok so now I am going to do a mirror so here is a mirror curve I am going to mirror these all these whatever we have done a pattern ok so the center line will be x you can just click ok so now as you can see here we will just finish the sketch so now as you can see here here is our sketch so what I will do is I will just extrude this so go to extrude and I am going to select this sketch and it should be none and I will just give an opposite direction and I will just click ok so now I wanted to make a pattern of this so let us go to menu and insert and associative copy and pattern geometry so I am going to select this extrude and it should be circular so along uh, this x axis so as you can see here it is generated Then just click ok you can make sure that count and pitch should be 572 and just click ok so now what i'll do is i'll just make uh, you know uh, subtract here so go to subtract and i'm going to subtract from these two these two bodies okay now you can just click ok so you can see here in all the sides we got this uh, let me hide this this is not required anymore Okay, guys. So now what we can do is uh, I'll just provide an uh, you know edge fillet for this. Uh, sorry, chamfer for this. So let's go to chamfer here, and it should be one mm. And we need to select all the circles here. Don't worry about this error which it's not an error actually it's an alert if there is an error uh, then you will not able to create and uh, whatever we have here okay so we need to select all the curves so I'll just skip the video okay so now as you can see here say so all the circles are selected I'll just click okay here one is pending so now I will just click okay to get a chamfer okay guys so so now what i will do is this is a different body and this is different body so i am going to unite them so go to unite and start selecting these bodies okay so now click okay okay guys this is all about today's uh, part so in the next uh, you know video i'm going to show you how we can make uh, the outer tire as well and some edge blends are required to do and there are some some other features we have to do so let us uh, wait for the next video so i'll just show you how we can make this complete so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to my channel hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys